Today we're going to look at decision trees. Decision trees obviously allow businesses to make decisions around future growth options. I very, very rarely have seen students use decision trees as part of their current assessment. It's very, very difficult to get good quality information from businesses, which allows you to be able to use a decision tree. You're more likely to use a balloons for speed of change. And therefore, this is likely to be examined as part of your paper one, or you're more likely to paper two. What I've done is taken a relatively simple example to do with a business which is either going to launch a strawberry milkshake or a strawberry ice cream. And initially we're going to read from left to right and then from right to left. Uh, the square, which we see here, that is, represents the decision which needs to be made. For example, between the strawberry milkshake and the strawberry ice cream. Now, reading to, to the right to do with uh, the strawberry milkshake, I started to draw this. So this represents the uh, strawberry milkshake, right? Uh, this represents the cost. So the cost in bracket that is going to be 10,000. The circle represents the probability. So there's a probability of the, the uh, strawberry milkshake being a success or a failure. I have estimated it has been a success as being 0.8, 80%, and as being a failure of 0.2 or 20%. Outcome, uh, if it's a success, is $20,000. The outcome, if it's a failure, I've estimated as being a, a $2,000. Then, what we do is we take the 0.8 and times it onto the $20,000 and gives us $16,000. 0.2 times $2,000 gives us $400,000. So that then uh, estimates that the expected uh, revenues from, having, from developing the strawberry milkshake would be Sixteen thousand four hundred. We therefore place the sixteen thousand four hundred here. The cost is ten thousand. Therefore, the expected profit would be six thousand four hundred. So you can see how we're reading from left to right and then back again. All right. Then we just follow a similar pattern with the strawberry ice cream. The cost is twelve thousand. Okay. I've estimated that the chances of success has been zero point nine, a failure of zero point one. The expected outcome is 25,000 if it's a success and $3,000 if it's a failure. So 0.9 and 90% of 25,000 is 22,500. 10% of 3,000 is 300. If we add those together, we get 22,800. Okay, we take away 12,000. The expected returns overall, expected profit overall would be 10,800. Therefore, we should choose strawberry ice cream. Final thing to show on this uh, decision tree is these two little squiggles, which show that this is the rejected option. So that should be reasonably straightforward. Obviously, decision trees ensure that a business sits down and tries to use high quality information, um, objective information, to ensure that it is making the uh, correct decision. Okay, because we could, for example, change this uh, down to 0 0.7 and increase this to 0 0.3, and that could be 0 0.9 and increase to 0 0.1. These numbers could change, for example, this could increase or this could decrease, and you would get a slightly different decision. Okay, so it's very, very reliant on having high quality information, and maybe that is the difficulty of using the decision tree because you're looking into the future. Maybe the business has identified strawberry ice cream as being a part of the market which has not been developed, it's a gap in the market, and they launch this uh, product. It's a success initially, but then what happens is lots and lots of competition rush into the market, and maybe it's a fear. Maybe there's a health scare of an ice cream, and people stop eating it. Maybe the economy does really, really badly, and people stop eating ice cream. So, it's the suit tree, anything which is like looking into the future, you have to be a little bit wary as to how accurate it's going to be. Uh, anything which looks five years in the future, you're going to be exceptionally wary. Um, nevertheless, it does allow a business to make a decision. Um, so we would recommend that as wonderful as decision trees are, you should probably also be looking at things like Lewis more sort of change, SWOT analysis, investment appraisal techniques, maybe some test analysis to help you make a decision. Okay? That's all.